7 Outrageous Weapons That Are Legal To Own Welcome to Interesting Top 7s. On our previous video, we smashed a goal of over 5,000 likes. If this video reaches over 2,000 likes, we will put out an all new video about more unbelievable weapons. With that said, let's get started. With so many guns in the world today, it can be hard to remember that packing dangerous heat doesn't always necessarily translate to just firearms. The Second Amendment may reference the right to bear arms, but Americans have gotten pretty creative throughout the years, developing and legally owning some batshit tools of violence. Although there's an exception to the rule here and there, today, let's take a look at the seven craziest weapons that are perfectly legal to own in the United States of America. P.S. Our list is purely for fun, so don't try this at home. Number 7. LED Incapacitators Let's get something clear right off the bat. This may look like a flashlight, but its sole purpose is to lay your ass out. By emitting an extremely bright, well-focused, and rapid succession of different colored random pulses, it causes the human eye to completely freak out, giving the victim a serious case of intracranial pressurized cluster headaches, vomiting, impairment, and complete disorientation. The military version nicknamed the Dazzler may be non-lethal, but it's not available to the general public. However, a team of hardware hackers reverse engineered the design and made the plans available to the public. Although it seems illegal, it isn't, at least for the moment. Number 6. Blowguns Although blowguns come in as one of the earliest and most primitive tools on our list, make no mistake, these hollow tubes are able to cause as much propulsory damage as the user's respiratory muscles can handle. Although it's been a widespread cultural weapon, indigenous people of South America, Central America, and Southeast Asia are thought to be this breath-powered projectile's number one proponents. Modernization of the weapon throughout the years has led to some sophisticated designs that are even used by researchers to stun and study lizards. Meaning unless you live in Massachusetts or California, you're perfectly cleared to own and use one. Just don't say we advocated backyard jungle warfare. We don't. Number 5. Chain Whips Chain whips may conjure up images of kung fu, and with good reason. Used in both Chinese martial arts and traditional Chinese disciplines since the Jin Dynasty, this old-school weapon may be handheld, but it's certainly not polite. Held by a handle, several metal rods are joined end-to-end -end by rings, forming a flexible and intimidating chain. If the metal whipping wasn't enough to ensure you lay an attacker out, the metal dart used to slash, pierce, or stab an opponent definitely seals the deal. Legal in almost every state, except for Maryland, New York, and California, it isn't hard to find footage of people online demonstrating just how powerful and day-ruining this bad boy can be. Number 4. Crossbows Although dating back to medieval times, crossbows have played a historically significant role in the warfare tactics of Europe, East Asia, and the Mediterranean. You may also recognize them if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, but we'll save that for another episode. Merging the lethal power of a traditional bow and arrow with the luxury of a sight and the ability to aim, crossbows are both fantastic for hunting and, well, other purposes too. Although they're technically only legal to use during archery season in every state but Oregon, it doesn't stop anyone from purchasing one of these death bringers at any given time. Number 3. The Minigun Although the term minigun has come to refer to any sort of externally powered rotary style rifle caliber gun, the M134 General Electric minigun is specifically what we're talking about. Despite the fact that the American law dictates citizens are prohibited from owning any sort of automatic rifle made after 1986, the M134, which requires a mount, is only legal by a technicality. Even crazier, this 762 by 51 mm NATO six barrel rotary machine gun has a blistering high rate of sustained fire, spitting out a flesh tearing 2,000 to 6,000 rounds per minute. However, you'll definitely need some extra cash if you want to take one home. They usually sell for around 40,000 US dollars. Number 2 Grenade Launchers Grenade launchers are often misconstrued as a military-only kind of weapon. If you're a weapons nut, you already know that's completely false. It's actually 100% legal for a private citizen to own their own red-hot grenade launcher. Of course, applicants must obtain an ATF permit.
permit and pass an arduous and extended series of background checks. But as long as you can find a local chief law enforcement officer to sign off on your purchase, you're more than welcome to take home your very own boom machine. There's a whole set of technicalities and legal loopholes, but enterprising shooters can and have found plenty of ways to legally have one for themselves. Number 1. The XM42 Flamethrower there's something about the flamethrower that just seems so... what's the word? Badass. The ultimate in action movie weaponry, flamethrowers are legal in the states due to it being hard to classify regulations for flame-based devices. What's even stranger though, the Geneva Convention has banned flamethrowers for use in warfare, which means although the troops are strictly prohibited from using them, a civilian is more than within their rights to own one. Now obviously you can't walk around spraying flames throughout your neighborhood, but crowdfunding websites have seen models like the XM42 both be supported and purchased by the general public. Talk about a spicy meatball. Thanks for tuning in to Interesting Top 7s. Which of these weapons was your favorite? Do you have an idea for a new list? Leave a comment below. And if you're new here and want more badass lists, click the subscribe button for new videos every week.